Good evening, fellow Toastmaster, and welcome guests. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you about dream interpretation. But not only that, I'm going to talk to you about how twisted my mind actually is. I'm kind of like a screwed up checkerboard. Now remember, I'm going to talk to you about dream interpretation in my dreams and my nightmares. Now the first nightmare I have is actually a bra naked covered by a red sheet. <laughs> Now see, the problem with this dream is I tried to block it out of my head so many times, but I just keep on having it. And I don't know why. So I'm hoping that maybe after the meeting someone can tell me. Now the second nightmare I have is this dream where I'm trapped in this kind of like, this place. And it's kind of like the place that I saw in Thailand. Like, you know, like a ruined sort of thing. But I can't get out. I'm just trapped. And there's nothing I can do. Now the third dream I have is being abducted by aliens. <laughs> now, in this dream, they torture me with their probes. And they ask me all the questions about what Toastmasters really is. <laughs> and they, they feed me this unbelievable, god-awful smelling food. And the last dream I have is getting consumed by a volcano. And I can't figure out what all these dreams mean, but each dream is a nightmare. And in your dreams, they're reflective of your own life. And Freud has said many times to reflect on your dreams. Oh. Now, the most vivid dream I have, like I said, was being tortured by aliens. And they always made me eat this food that looked like a dog, but also like a loaf of bread. <laughs> but see, the thing about it is, is that it was the most orgasmic tasting food I've ever had. <laughs> and the reason I say orgasmic and mesmerizing, because it reminded me of this place that I saw in Thailand, that I was just in absolute awe, a beautiful waterfall, looking out over the horizon at sunset. Oh. Now I'm going to take a leap of faith and say that probably everybody in this room thinks I'm crazy. Maybe I should be in a loony bin, because I have all these crazy dreams. It's quite possible. But what I want to make sure you understand is that we all have crazy dreams. Every single person, I'm sure, in this room has had a crazy dream from time to time that seems so realistic, but it wasn't. See, I've woken up many times at night, and I've got down on my knees in front of my bed, and I pray to the gods to get rid of all these dreams. But see, the point is, is that God's not going to get rid of these dreams for me. It's only me that's going to get rid of these dreams. Dreaming is a reflection of our own inner demons. It's a reflection of the own troubles in our lives. Much like many cats being pierced to death by some weird metal object that the aliens invented. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to let loose. Sometimes we have to act like a child. Sometimes we have to jump on random objects and <laughs> go play in a playground. Because letting loose is going to open yourself up to new things and see life in a different way. <laughs> Sometimes life looks like a pile of shit. <laughs> but what you need to do is you need to look at what that is and see it for what it truly is. If you take a step back, Sometimes you might see something as a pool filled with trash, but if you just cleaned it up and filled it with water, you'd find that it's a great place to play. Now the problem with life is, often we let it get us down. And sometimes we feel like hanging ourselves. But you can't do that. You've got to take that step back and then that step forward to move on with your life and make the right conclusions. That way, your dreams don't affect you. Now, in your dreams, you might think that you want to be rich someday. You might want to live in this beautiful mansion with a great lawn and a beautiful landscape. But to get there, you're going to have a lot of troubles and tri tribulations along the way. <laughs> Not only can you change your lives, but you can experience new things. Like many different kinds of chocolate sticks that you can find in Korea at any different store you go to. And I've tried them and they're quite good. 
In conclusion, here are a few words of wisdom. The first one is you're not an infant. Don't act infantile and like a little baby. If you're an adult, be an adult and don't act like an infant so other people can take care of you. You need to grow up. Too many of us think that we can act infantile and get away with it. Now if you're sad and you feel like you're surrounded by water or unnecessary things in your life, reach out and ask someone for help. Because if you ask someone for help, there's many people out there that will lend you a hand rather than leave you stranded with no chance of survival. Now many of you heard me talk about speeches in regards to going to the dentist or going to the hospital. And I'm here to tell you we all make mistakes. I made a mistake. I went to the wrong hospital and I was screwed up for months because of it. I went to a dirty doctor. I paid less money, but you get what you pay for. One of the last things I want to tell you is don't cover your eyes. If you have a problem in your life and you're dreaming about it, don't cover your eyes. Open your eyes, figure out what the problem is, and move on. Lastly, don't ignore your dreams. If you have dreams that you have it, and they're nightmares, and it's like this big weight in front of you, figure out what that goal is that you need, what that dream is, what that nightmare. Figure out what it is, and move on, and fix the problem in your life. Thank you.